you know, I've had, you know, different brands of bikes. I've had, you know, numerous Yamahas, Hondas. I had an Aprilia. I had a Ducati, uh, a Chinese scooter, <laughs> which I highly recommend you stay away from Chinese motorcycles. So a lot of you guys have asked me, you're like, cycle cruiser, man. How come you don't buy a Kawasaki? I'm going to tell you in this video, guys, why I do not buy Kawasaki motorcycles. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. This is my most beloved motorcycle that I've ever owned. Uh, custom 2019 YZ450 FX that I made into a supermodel. I have a full build series in the description and comment section of this video. You can go off the beaten path. Dang snow! <laughs> oh, this is the best helmet I've ever owned. Ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet with auto tint shield. My motor vlog camera airbag vest to help keep me safe. I have links to all of my gear in the description and comment section of this video. Yeah! <laughs> Having a good old time out here on my supermoto, baby. But I'll tell you guys that... Kawasaki, all the Japanese bikes, they don't know how to design bikes, man. I mean, as far as looks, everything else is amazing with their bikes. I mean, super reliable, but they make the ugliest bikes. But that's not the main reason why I never bought a Kawasaki. Honestly, Kawasaki ZX-10R has always been a top-end bike. The ZX-6R used to be a top-end bike. I think the 636 is a little better. Um... Their bikes are, you know, they're, as far as their super sport and super bikes are really made for the track. They're not great street bikes. The, uh, the dual sports that they used to have, uh, the KLX 250 back in the day when I was looking for dual sports, it was between the WR 250R and the KLX 250S. And that had a carburetor and pretty slow. Um, WR 250R was way better. Uh, they do have the new KLX, I think, 300 now. They got a Supermoto and Dual Sport. And they, they tuned it with some better bottom and power. And it's uh, fuel injected now and not carbureted. So they made, they've made some strides. I don't know. We'll see how those bikes perform and all. I was going to buy a Kawasaki uh, H2 once. I did buy it and actually reneged at the last second. The bike is ugly. But it's got so much power. And you guys say it's so amazing and everything. It's kind of like a unicorn bike. So I thought I'd try it out, but man, I don't do that type of speed out here. Who am I kidding? That's a waste. The fairings are really expensive on that bike, so if you crash it or you jack it up, you're talking about $1,000 plus fairings you got to buy. Um, and then the, the Kawasaki ZH2, the, the Street Fighter version of it, is ugly as can be. <laughs> um, now I know some of you, beauty's an eye of the beholder, but come on, man, that's not a good looking bike. <laughs> The, uh, the new Kawasaki ZX-10R, they actually looks worse than the previous generation. It looks older looking. <laughs> it doesn't look that great, man. It's, it's, it's ugly. I don't like it. Uh, I'm not saying it's not a good bike. They, they make all the Japanese bikes are great bikes. Don't get me wrong, man. But I just, there was never anything that I just really, really wanted with the Kawasaki, you know. When I was first getting into bikes, uh, the first for a starter bike, I was I actually had purchased a Kawasaki Ninja 250, um, but I couldn't go get it because it was in it was pretty far away in Ohio, and I ended up getting the CBR 250R instead. And um, so I don't know, it just never worked out for me with Kawasaki's, and I never really had my heart set on any of them, all uh, the Kawasaki's, and they just seemed to be. I mean, these new designs are coming out with, they're terrible. Uh, you know, Kawasaki, all the Japanese bikes, they need to hire Italian designers, man, and make some proper, awesome looking bikes like Ducati makes, Aprilia makes, and uh, MV Agusta makes, and all the other Italian bikes are, are absolutely beautiful looking, but 
Japan, Japan just doesn't, I don't know. They, they come out with weird looking bikes, man. The, uh, the Yamaha R6 is a beautiful bike and all, but like I said, it wasn't because it just looks, it's just because their bikes just never fit me, you know. Um, so that's why I never got a Kawasaki, guys. I don't foresee myself buying a Kawasaki anytime soon. Now that little KLX 300 uh, Supermoto they got out, that could be look like a pretty cool bike for, for you new riders out there to want to get into Supermoto life. Um, I'm telling you, Supermoto life is where it's at, baby. Um, because these bikes, they can take a beating, you can drop them. Um, uh, they're, they're cheap to fix the, as far as the plastics on the bike. Uh, they got nice low-end grunt, you know, and I think that new KLX 300, they put a little grunt on that down low. Um, and you can fly around, I mean, you could go around corners low. You could, you could, it, it, you could take them pretty much anywhere. If you put the Shinko 705 tires on, which are ADV tires, like the adventure bikes have, like I have on this bike, it allows you, the, the tires are nearly bulletproof and allows you to go ride off-road in the woods, ride anywhere man it's pretty much turns into a dual sport but with uh tubeless wheels um now if the, your supermoto comes with top wheels that have tubes you can make them tubeless i did a video because i did mine i did a how-to video on how to make uh, wheels tubeless uh supermoto rims go check that out i'll include a video link in the description and comment section of this video uh, but you tell me guys tell me what is the Kawasaki that you think I should get that's so awesome now, I know some of you guys say the Z900 uh, is pretty cool it, it's a this to me it's just kind of a bland looking regular looking kind of Japanese bike it's got the inline four I'm not doubting that it's an awesome bike but it just it just doesn't have something that's just calling out to me like you know <laughs> get this bike so the H2, like I said, is is an, a unicorn of a bike. But I don't I don't foresee myself ever getting that bike unless I get into uh, drag racing or something, you know. But I don't know. Leave a comment, man. What, what do you like about Kawasaki motorcycles that you think is better than the other Japanese motorcycles? I want to hear about it. Let's talk about it. That's why I do these videos to help incite community discussion. So let's talk about it, dude. Meanwhile, I'm gonna bust a wheelie, dude. <laughs> but anyways, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my All in One Motorcycle channel and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Deuces. Hit thumbs up, check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.